myself or anyone else. This is for educational entertainment purposes only. And I can either confirm. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been at Disneyland <clears throat> for the last couple uh, days or and driving two of those days. So I've been out of the loop for about five days. But I'm laying here um, struggling with withdrawals. Uh, back is killing me. But I'm thinking about Dave. And I don't care what anybody thinks about what I have to say. But I can discern in the Lord that Dave is a good man. A very, very good man. And the church has hurt this very good man. And why do I know this? Because I think Dave and I, Dave is the quote-unquote layman of what I have been in the pastoral. The people that I've loved the most have hurt me, slandered me, and ridiculed me. Dave, the news eunuch, and I'll use <laughs> I'll use Veckel's term because that's my patent, and I get money every time anybody uses it. So, okay. Um, like I said in the side chat uh, five days ago or whatever, that I know Dave. And I know Veckel. And I know that Dave and Veckel are both good men. Now, of course, Veckel's black. And he's a little bit less than a man that I am and Dave is. Because we're white. And we've got these special privileges in America. Which gives us actually favor with God because we're Americans. You know, that whole chestnut. Anyway, I digest. But seriously, Veckel and Dave are both good men. I know that. Why? Because I can discern Dave. And I've known Veckel. I've exchanged a few uh, texts with him. Uh, Veckel. <laughs> Meckel. <laughs> Veckel is a good guy. And Dave is a good guy. But... I think Dave has been far more hurt by the church than Veckel. Let me give you some other names of people that have been so severely hurt by the church that it actually turned them into atheists. Apologia, Shannon Q, Seth Andrews along with other prominent names, those three individuals who I have, well, I've got a relationship with uh, Apologia, and then, of course, through Apologia, Shannon Q. Um, Apologia and Shannon have been very hurt by the church. I don't know the depths of it, I just know that that's what, and they'll hate me for this, quote unquote, <laughs> that's what the Spirit of God has shown me. Dave has been hurt. And you know what, folks? I've been hurt. But I am better than Dave because I don't express my hurt. No, actually. Let me tell you, <clears throat> there's a few people here on the interwebs and the YouTubes that have been so devastatingly hurt by the church, but yet we choose, we choose to hang on because we know God has touched us. That first person is me. The church has hurt me. 
to depths that nobody can ever conceive of. My children have not officially, except for one of them, PTSD over our Christian experience. I definitely have PTSD in the way that the church treated me. You know who else has been vil who's been destroyed by the church? Smoky Saint and Dave and a few others. And I'm not going to name them right now, but many of them know who they are. And I think you know that what by what I'm saying, you know that I know who you are, that I know who... No, nah, never mind. Um, <laughs> man, the church... I, I, I truly despise Christians. I'll tell you that up front. If you claim to be a Christian, I'm going to think, first of all, you're stupid. And second of all, you don't know what you're talking about. And it's sad because those of us people who love truth and love the principles of thinking itself and not that which is thought about, but literally we care about the way we think. Some people went to the atheistic uh, conclusion. Those like me, I tr uh, I'm not even going to say it. Uh, Smokey's the person. Uh, other folks are the pers the peoples. Dave is another one of those persons. We have a philosophical insight that many of you um, couldn't even begin to hope to imagine. Just that which we know per se intuitively, that God has somehow gifted us with an understanding of reality. And there's nothing that can shake us from the theistic conclusions of the reality. But let me tell you, we totally and completely discern that most Christians, including our own family members, are... Uh, let me... Uh, Dumblets. Yes, I called my own family members. Please don't make me state them. And I'm talking about extended family members. Parental units. I digest. I, 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 I'm compelled to say what I've said. David, I love you. I don't know if you're trolling all of us with all of your statements, but dude, I love you, man. And take it for what it is. I'm not, I'm nobody, although I am very attractive and I'm a fantastic musician, but I'm a crappy theologian. If you ask everybody in the uh, YouTube's world. But dude, I love you, man. Linda, I love you. Even my enemies, man. I love you guys. CJ Cox, I love you. Praise, you've done a lot of harm, but I think you're a simple praise. <laughs> but as of late, you've gone full tarred. But I can't blame you. Tammy will say I've gone full tarred numerous, numerous times. But guys... Can we be the church? I mean, let me tell you, Walter Martin's my hero. Man, if you come against the gospel of Jesus Christ, I'm going to be your enemy. If you use the grace of God for sin, I'm going to be at you like ugly on ape. And vice versa. If you use legalism to keep good people away from the gospel, i.e., the age of the earth is a stumbling block. I'm going to be on you like ugly on Smokey. Just saying. Dude, the guy is losing his hair. I mean, his face is symmetrically pretty. 
but he doesn't have any hair. And we all know, according to the Lord Jesus Christ via the Old Testament and Samson, hair is everything. Sorry, Dave, you've got to get some implants. Love you, dude. Nor deny the accuracy of any of it, right, Billy? Yeah. <laughs> so we're broadcasting <laughs> on the YouTube video network. And uh, we Dave. went to visit this other channel just moments ago. They God got a little you, sassy Dave. with us, didn't they, Billy? Yeah. You know, Billy yeah. don't like it when you get sassy with him, do you, Billy? 